Welcome back to the Wildlands for another Wednesday Waffle. And tonight we're talking about all things solar from our off-grid property in central Portugal. And we're also gonna briefly have a look at the benefits between AGM and lithium. remember last autumn that we put in a new solar system here in the shade house as we call it. I have a mallet, I have a piece of rebar and it has some cable on the end of it, I think it's 16 mil squared and it's just attached with a couple of nuts and I'm going to bash it into the ground Boom. and that's going to be the earth for our inverter. So I think we're done with the electrics. Everything is wired together. All of the breakers are off. The solar panels are out in the sun. What's next? Yeah, we've made sure that all the connections are tight. Um, we've just plugged in the BMV meter. So like you say, it's just a case of flicking on the little breakers inside. We need to turn the batteries on first. Yep. So that the MPPT controller comes on and then we'll turn the solar on. Last. And then, yeah, that's See it. See what happens. Oh, do you want me to flick? Can you go on? See, go the, on. see the meters come on? <laughs> so first of all, we need to turn the battery on, which is this breaker. Set. Oh, they're on. There oh, go. look at that. <laughs> and then secondly, once that's okay, we then turn the solar panels on. And then it'll take a few moments for the charge controller to register, but now you can see we've got a flashing red light, which means we're getting solar coming in. Okay, so the Remote meter saying 13.2 volts battery voltage. We're getting 55 volts off the solar panels. They're saying that the batteries are 100 percent, but the batteries are fairly new, so that's to be expected. And we're currently only getting about 40 watts off the panels, but I suspect one of the panels is now in the shade because <laughs> there's quite a few trees around. But yeah, it's all working fine. And we can see a little row of dots feeding into the batteries, which is the solar coming in. All good. We're not getting much sun on them, are we? Sunshine! Yeah, that'll make the world a difference, yeah. that will. Yeah. And that was run off three AGM batteries totaling 450 amp hours. And we've been very, very pleased with that. But you'll see just here, we've finally got a fridge freezer. Yeah. Yeah. To most of you, that must seem like a normal everyday thing, having a fridge freezer, and you probably take it for granted, perhaps. But when you live in a van, as we have, we had a very small fridge in our van. We've been in our van for over four years now, and we've been surviving on a very small under-counter fridge, which has reached the end of its useful life, really, hasn't it? It's got it? bits falling off, and it's held together with gaffer tape inside. Yeah. And it wasn't very good at keeping things cold, either, was it? Which is all you really ask of a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> this week, we received a Power Queen 200 amp hour lithium battery. So to tie in with that, we treated ourselves to a fridge freezer. And you would not believe how much joy a fridge freezer can bring to you when you've not had a fridge freezer for four years. Cold beer. Absolutely, yeah. Ice in my g &T. Yeah, absolutely. you're going to tell us about the power queen aren't you and our upgrade in our solar panel box i am yes and i'm going to tell you why the power queen is the best of the lithium batteries today we're upgrading our off-grid electrical system the current system has three 100 amp hour agm batteries that's lead acid and we have 600 watts of solar a 2000 watt inverter and some usb sockets and bits and bobs and the plan today is to get rid of the agm batteries and replace them with this beast it's a Power Queen 200 amp hour lithium battery. At the moment, once we've uh, swapped them around, it will give us almost the exact same amount of power as the three uh, AGM batteries, because although they are 
they total together 450 amp hours, you can only ever use 50% of an AGM battery. So that's 225 amp hours, and this one is 200 amp hours. This lithium battery lets you take 100% of its power, which is absolutely amazing. And then the plan is to add another couple of these in the future, and then we will have 600 amp hours of usable power, which will be enough to run our new fridge freezer, which is very exciting. So I'm going to run you down some of the stats and some of the exciting things about this lovely Power Queen battery. It provides 4,000 cycles and a 10 year lifetime, as opposed to 200 to 500 cycles, that's full to empty to full again, and a three year lifetime of lead acid batteries. So the fact that it's going to last 10 years is amazing. Once you've outlaid your cost, you don't have to worry about it for 10 years, which is great. The Power Queen, specifically, as opposed to other lithium battery providers, it gives you 2,000 cycles more than your average lithium um, battery, so it's definitely worth going for a Power Queen over any other brands. They also provide a five-year warranty for their product, which I think is excellent. And there is a 24-hour service um, thing online, so if you have any problems or any questions, they've said that if you um, want to install it on its side and you need to know which orientation to do that, then you can get in contact with them, and within 24 hours you'll have an answer, which I think is also excellent and much better than just sort of buying something off the shelf and then having to read the manual and make it up yourself. <laughs> Another great thing about this battery is that it supports up to four in parallel and four in series to connect them all together into a 16 battery bank and that will build a 51.2 volt 800 amp hour battery system which is a bit of a beast. We don't quite have the room for that now but it's something to look forward to in the future. It also has a built-in 100 amp BMS to protect the battery from overcharge, over discharge, over current and short circuit which is a really handy thing and you don't get that with AGMs either so that's peace of mind that you're not going to um, wreck it if you haven't quite set your system up right or if you get some kind of a surge or a problem. And the final really cool thing about the Pearl Queen is that it only weighs 44 pounds so it has these little handles whoop, on the side and I can lift this on my own with no problem and it's lighter than one of our AGM batteries so by replacing the three of those we're taking some of the strain off our cupboard and if you were going to put this in your vehicle as well then that's I think um, you're always very conscious of every little bit of extra weight you put in your van or your vehicle so that's another great reason to go for the Power Queen. I love how portable it is. So I'm going to give you a little rundown on why you should go, I think you should go for lithium batteries over AGM. I was on the fence. When we built out the van I looked into lithium and I went, oh no, they sounded a bit scary for various reasons, but now I'm completely converted. So I'm going to get my notes, because it's a lot. Lithium delivers the same amount of power throughout its entire um, discharge cycle whereas lead acid starts out strong but dissipates, which is, I mean, that's obviously really good that you don't sort of have to go, it goes downhill. There's all sorts of graphs and stuff you can find online. So that, does that mean the more you use your lead acid batteries, as, the, as you go closer to them being at half their charge, the, the amount of output drops as well? Exactly, if you imagine a torch, and oh, yeah. you turn it on and it's a strong beam and then you've used it for a few hours and the next time you turn it on there's still some light but it's not as strong as it could be well that's an AGM battery whereas a lithium it's either a strong beam or it's completely fully discharged and there's no beam at all so it's it. strong yeah. all the way to the end which is great good example thanks <laughs> uh, lithium batteries charge four times faster than lead acid which is always a bonus that is a bonus, especially off-grid. Well, not even off-grid. No. It's just a bonus, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah. it's four times quicker. The faster it's charged, the faster, faster you can is use good, it. Faster is good, isn't it? Mm. For us, this is an important one. Lithium's performance in high temperatures is far superior to lead acid. Lithium at 55 degrees C has twice the cycle life than a lead acid does at room temperature. Right. Better that's, performance in high temperatures. And that's definitely worth bearing in mind, where last year we had nine weeks of over 40 degrees centigrade. Sometimes going up to 46. Yep. And this year, uh, in June, we've already had one 40 degree, and in July, a second 40 degree day. Yep. So that's worth bearing in mind as yep. well. However, in cold temperatures, lead acid does actually have the advantage, because lithium won't charge below zero degree C. Right. It doesn't like it. Okay, so that's not too bad for us where we only have a couple of weeks where it's below freezing. Yeah, and lead acid is, is happy to charge in lower lower temperatures. So, right. um, But I think on the whole, if you're weighing up temperature in general, 
I'd rather that they worked better in the heat. Yeah, than well, it's hotter here, isn't it, we for most of the year? And um, with a bit of insulation or with, with warmth, like we have, if you have a wood burner or if it's inside and you've got some kind of heating, then you don't have, it doesn't matter what the temperature is outside, it's the temperature of the actual battery. Lithium is lighter. That's uh, maybe not so much of a concern to us because we're going to put it in a cupboard. But if you're putting it in your RV or your boat or your whatever, camper yeah, van. Then lighter is good. Lighter is better. Yeah, I can lift yeah. the Power Queen 200 amp hour battery, which is about this big. I can lift it just by myself much yeah, easier nice. than the little uh, AGM batteries. So yeah. lithium has a higher cycle life. So you have more cycles and a cycle is full to empty and full again yeah. all the way around. Um, so you get more cycles and it lasts longer. That's a, a big plus. Ten as well, years on it? average, isn't it, for lithium? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 10 years. And the Power Queen does 4,000 cycles, which is very high. huge, Suits. very Suits. huge. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, my last note about why lithium is epic. Lithium can be fully or almost fully discharged. So you can use the whole lot of your 200 amp hours. I know you can with the Power Queen. Some other lithium batteries, you can go down to 20%. But that's still amazing. Uh, and lead acid batteries, usually you can only use 50 or 60% of their power. Yeah. And then you have to stop because they don't like going yeah, below yeah, that. Yeah, on ours we try them. to not go below 80%, don't we? Yeah. So that means you're constantly managing your power and going, all oh, right, okay, anything non-essential comes off. Yep. So that's, um, that. and this is, I was trying to find information on both and every time I looked at something and compared them, lithium came out better lithium apart from wins, yep. charging in the cold, so. So generally speaking, you might think that if you're off grid, Obviously solar power is essential because you can't connect to the grid or maybe you don't want to connect to the grid So you've got to have solar power to manage your electricity yep. if you're living on a boat or a van Then generally speaking 99.9% .9 of people on a boat or a van have solar power to provide them with electricity Some camper vans or motorhomers may rely on hookup, but even most motorhomes now come with a modest solar system, so it's worth looking at the difference between AGM and lithium. I think people in houses should get in on That's what I was leading to, 12 yeah. volt electrics. Yeah. Go on Absolutely. Then. Yeah, I was going to say, so for those of you that are in your house, with the current cost of electricity and the so-called cost of living crisis, the price of utility bills has rocketed, hugely expensive. If you do the maths, you, you can work it out very simply. It might be alien to some of you. So what you can do is you can look at all your electrical appliances and look at the wattage that they require when they start up or when they're in constant use. So for example, a washing machine might require 1500 or 2000 watts at startup and then when it's running it requires less so you could look at that for all the things in your house add them all up and then you can work out how much solar you would have and what that might cost you if you installed it yourself or you paid somebody else to install it and then how long it might last say five years and then look at what you can save and you'll be quite surprised you can actually save quite a lot and in many cases you can generate perhaps more solar than you need depending on where you are in the world and it's simple enough if you're thinking you don't know 12 volt electrics or a washing machine can't run on 12 volt uh, that's when you just get an inverter which is another bit of kit that runs from uses the power that you've stored in the battery from your solar panels and it converts it from 12 volt into usable the same as your house to 20 volt yeah and then you can run anything so if you've not considered it, I'd encourage you to have a look and uh, look at what solar is, how it works. And you may say that in the UK, if you're from there, obviously a lot of our viewers are from the UK, but we have many in Europe and many in America. So for those of you that are in places where the weather is not quite so good as Portugal, so you have less sun and shorter days, people in the UK, in houses anyway, can combine it maybe with a wind turbine and there are many available some are small enough that they don't require planning permission and some bigger ones require planning permission so that's worth looking into that's a whole other subject but there are ways that you can combine different sources of making power with solar to then power your whole house um, but certainly boat and van life people are already well in tune with the benefits of solar power and we love it don't we it's great it's so free it's free it's free power yeah. Which is just amazing, really, when you stop and think about it. It is, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, making power from the sun, isn't it? Wonderful. So thanks for watching our 
Wednesday waffle. Yeah, worth pointing out, originally we were doing Wednesday waffles once a week, and then, as always, we have slackened off because of the amount of work that is required to maintain your homestead off-grid. So at the moment, we're building a cabin, which is a massive task, basically building a small, tiny house. It's taken up a great deal of time, so we've been a little bit slack on our videos. So it's been a long time since our last waffle. It has, yeah, but we also need something to waffle about. Absolutely, not always got stuff to waffle about, always. have we? No. Yeah. So thanks very much for watching this washel. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this waffle. And we'll be back at some point with another waffle, but we'll be back next week with an update, most likely on the cabin build. And at some point soon to come um, is food preservation as well. I have been filming. We just haven't quite made it into a video yet, but I've been pickling and drying and fermenting and stuff. That's yeah, that's very exciting because you get a dehydrator out there. I do. You do. Nothing like a bit of dehydrating, eh? <laughs> So if you haven't, do give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I have to say that in every video. And we do like your comments. If you've got any questions about solar or any suggestions or advice uh, or any waffle of your own, do please leave us a comment. We'll get back to all the comments. So thanks very much. And there's an affiliate link. So lastly, but certainly not least, head on downwards to the description of the video where there is an affiliate link for the Power Queen and we highly recommend it. So follow that on through and you can have a look at their website. They've got many different lithium batteries of different sizes as well. Uh, so without further ado, thanks again very much for watching. See you again soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.